Hello everybody, in this video I am going to show you how to add a table of contents to your WordPress blog posts. My name's Theo MacArthur, I've been blogging for 20 years and teaching blogging since 2016. There are two ways to add a table of contents to your posts or to posts that you choose to have a table of contents for. And there is no point really to have a table of contents on a short post. Tables of contents are really for longer posts. One way to do it is through coding, but I'm not going to show you that way. I'm going to show you the easy way, and that is to add a free plugin. So in your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins and add new. On the page, type table of contents into the search box. You're going to get a number of results, but when choosing a plugin, always choose a plugin that has been recently updated. So for example, this plugin here has obviously been very popular, easy table of contents, but it hasn't been updated for five months. Similarly, this one is a year. This one is two months. That's not too bad, but it's getting to the stage where we start to wonder, is it going to be updated again or not? So really we're looking for something that's been very recently updated. Now this one here, simple table of contents by Mark Tonzing, that's been updated two weeks ago. And it has 2000 active installations and a five star rating. So this is a safe bet. I'm going to go ahead and install now and activate. And now we have the simple table of contents in the plugins list. Let's go over and add it to a post. Posts, all posts. Choose a post and click edit. Before you start, you need to make sure that your post has some headings, otherwise the table of contents won't work. Now this post does have several headings, but I'm going to change some of them because they are all H4, but we need to have some H2 headings. So I'm going to change some of these headings. H2, H2, and this one, and this one. Update. And now click on the plus icon and you will have an extra block here under design, simple table of contents. When you click on it to select it, you will then have some options over here on the right. Let's leave it all as it is and then we can see what it looks like and change it later if we need to. So scrolling on down here to the bottom, we can see the table of contents and that looks okay, but maybe we'd like it somewhere else, not at the bottom. To do so, hover over the little dots, six dots and drag. And now it's nearer the top because most people will not scroll down to the bottom. They won't know the table of contents is there if it's away down at the bottom. To make changes to it, just click on it, try ordered list, and that adds numbers to it. If we don't want that, we can just toggle back. And if you update the post and add more to it, you can click this refresh or update table of contents icon here. So that's all there is to it. And that's how you add a simple table of contents to your longer WordPress blog posts.